milk thistle. Now, I know a lot of you tend to think of milk thistle in regards to the liver. And the science in regards to milk thistle and liver is always kind of subjective going back and forth. But milk thistle's true appreciation is in regards to actually cancer and cancer stem cells. Now, let's get right into a really cool study in regards to milk thistle in colorectal cancer. Now, I know we had milk thistle in the lungs before, but now check how it works with colorectal cancer. Keep this in mind. This research was presented at the American Association for Cancer Research Annual Meeting this April 2015. The title of the research being Oral Milk Thistle Extract Stops Colorectal Cancer Cells from Growing Tumors. Their title, not mine. All right, let's get right into the meat of the research. Now, what they did is they took a milk thistle extract, and keep in mind, this was oral, which was a plus, but it was done in animals, meaning this eventually has to be translated to how it may impact humans. So keep in mind, sometimes things that happen in animals don't necessarily work the same as in people, so it needs other studies to validate, but let us begin anyways. All right, this is what they did. They found out orally administrating the chemical silabinin, yeah, Purified from milk, this will slow the ability of colorectal cancer stem cells to grow the disease, henceforth eye cancer and tumors. The researchers said it is very simple. Tumors from mice that were initially fed silabinin had fewer cancer stem cells, were smaller. The cancer had lower cells and lower metabolisms and showed decreased growth of new blood vessels, I should say, uh, tumors. And the researchers stressed silabinin is non-toxic and it can be researched potentially as a chemo-preventive agent derived obviously from milk thistle seeds. Now, let's go a little bit further into the research itself because this is research into milk thistle seems to be just not being done one time on a fluke. It's being repeated and the results are becoming out the same positive results in regards to cancer over and over and over again, which is what you really want to see in good research. Let's proceed. The results were clear. Mice given silabinin showed less incidence of macroadenomas indicative of colorectal cancer, where nearly all mice in the control group developed the disease. In addition, in the silabinin group, the researchers saw minimal colon inflammation, inflammation, blah, and minimal incidences of rectal bleeding and rectal prolapse as frequently observed in the control mice itself. Control mice being the ones that did not get the silabinin or the milk thistle extract and the have wreaking havoc, the body had virtually no protection against it. Now this is kind of cool as a side note. Now what the researchers did is this. They then took the cancer cells from basically the mice that were treated or given oral silabinin. All right, and then what they did is they gave it to the mice, which were basically the control group and they're what they call models. And this is what happened. This is actually kind of cool. When stem cells from tumors grown in the silabinin fed conditions were re-injected into new models, models being mice, the cells fail to develop equally aggressive tumors even in the absence of the milk thistle extract itself, silabinin. Now again, this is preliminary, but however the researcher said the silabinin is non-toxic and may be keeping people preventive, it's going to be very tough for them to get human trials on this. So before you go uh, venturing into this uh, new arena, so to say, Always speak to a medical professional that you're working with before you begin any program such as this. But milk thistle, boom, over and over again, great research in regards to cancer and cancer prevention, not just from colon, lung, you name it, just but all over the place. Something to really look into and hopefully we have better research coming out in the future. Thank you once again for your channel, signing off.